It's been a while since I first put out my uh, video on the EDC organizer. So I wanted to, yeah, I think it's been a couple of years actually. So it's about time I updated that video, showed you guys what I've got going on now and um, how my, you know, how things have changed. Yeah, that's basically it because it definitely has changed quite a bit. So actually before I unzip, I'm going to start with the outside since that's easiest. And what I'll probably do is, well, I don't know, should I pull everything out and put it all back in and kind of zip through that? Yeah, why not? So on the outside, got a Sharpie, little spare pen light. And you can see some paracords hanging out of here. And what that's attached to is, I'll just pull it out now. Well, it didn't work the way I wanted it to because I didn't have it the right way, but I'll show you how it's supposed to work. These are little uh, flat emergency emergency whistles, ACR brand, and find them a little easier uh, online if you search for ACR, I think. So the idea is that, it, you know, if I need it, um, really quickly I suppose I can just yank it out like that I had put it in the wrong way I should have had it in this way first so I've got actually two of those reason for that being well credit goes to nothing fancy but um, in case I need to be communicating with someone over long distances that's uh, how you can do it. You don't have to scream at each other or whatever. You can use whistle blows. Yeah, so that's it on the outside. Alright, so real quick before I get into everything, there's basically three categories that all this is going to fall into. Um, one is emergency type items that I'll probably never use or hopefully never use and that's uh, things like these whistles well you know I don't know these yes they're emer emergency items but uh, there's actually a chance that these will come in useful at some point so emergency items two is um, everyday well everyday items that I don't use every day things that I know that I do need but they're more like once a week once every few you know once every few weeks things that I don't need to be carrying like in my pocket or like in a in you know a small pocket in my backpack that I you know go go into every day and uh, the third category would be everyday well extras of everyday items just uh, redundancies okay so all right let's get into it actually I'm gonna start with the back area here I've got my 3M dust mask, still got it, hasn't changed. Some vinyl gloves, just made real uh, flat in a little Ziploc, easy to, to carry or pack. Just some, uh, oh, it's really bright, huh? Let me see if I can refocus to change that. There we go, that's a little better. Just some band-aids and cotton swabs, Q-tips as well as strands of dental floss because I always freaking need dental floss because I still, I mean, just like the last video, I remember I, I put this in there, hate it when I, you know, I'm at work and I eat lunch and I get something stuck in my tooth and I can't get at it. it just irritates the heck out of me. So just one of those things. Little uh, write and rain notepad. Some paper clips on there that and clearing out the rest of this side little mini multi-tool just a leather and juice uh, juice too got the little corkscrew tool essential although now there's like all these creative ways to open bottles of wine so I guess as long as I have a shoe and a tree and a hard surface or something I can I don't need this Um, little wrench tool with, I think it's a T6 and a T8 Torx 
uh, wrench on each side. Pretty sure this came with one of my Boker knives, but um, awesome. I love this. Very cool. Super easy, you know, easy way to carry a little knife maintenance kit around. Although I know some take a larger uh, Torx for the pivot, I think. But this works for most knives, most pocket knives that I have at least. Just a little miscellaneous uh, item, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just go to County Com and be tempted like I was. It's just a mini hacksaw. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, a couple of AA batteries, lithiums for uh, backup batteries from my one of my well, one of my EDC lights at least. Uh, I guess I will do like I did on the other side, start from the back. Titanium spork because, you know, I'm a guy and gotta be ready to eat. Zip ties. More for like, car stuff I suppose. And way down here. Can I get to it? I don't know. Oh, well, I guess I'll pull this out first. WD-40 pen, no mess pen, which uh, is a lie because this top comes off really easily. So um, I had to put this <clears throat> this tape on here. This isn't, um, this is not duct tape, by the way. It's gaffer tape. Very easy to remove and use again. Supposedly not it's not supposed to leave uh, residue, but sometimes it does but the the Point is that you can reuse it uh, many times So cool stuff pretty expensive stuff usually but um, if you're have a hard time finding it just look on photography websites like B&H photo Okay Back here some extra cash various denominations I just just throw that over there. No, just kidding. Okay. Um, emergency mirror. Uh, this plastic is coming off. Uh, signal mirror. Right. Fresno lens. Little magnifying lens. In. Mm, there you go. Just a cheap little thing. These are awesome little mini bolt cutter bolt cutters that uh, you can use to clip nails. A stupid joke I thought of doing. Yeah. Gear ties, these are super handy. I love these things. Um, USB thumb drive with uh, just some important documents, encrypted of course. More tape, more gaffer tape, and uh, credit goes to nothing fancy for this one as well. Um, just get an old card of some sort, not your old, you know, nothing with personal information on it, but just, or you know, one of these fake cards you get in the mail from the NRA or whatever, with, you know, re, you know, give us more money. Um, nah, I shouldn't be criticizing, I do give them more money. Um, yeah, they just use those cards to put tape on and, and make it for easy packing and easy access. Blue painter's tape, I love this stuff. I actually use it mostly for, um, I uh, shoot with a lot of old cameras and, you know, I just don't want to get sticky residue on, well, any kind of camera, I wouldn't want to get sticky residue on it, but I use these because I'll forget what kind of film I put in the camera, so I always tear off a little piece and put a note on there, stick it on the camera, I'll put that on the side. Just some chapstick, Yelp brand chapstick, because um, I'm into that. <laughs> Little lighter, finally, my fire source, right? I don't carry a flint steel or anything like that anymore, just because, um, I, I mean, I still have them, and they go in, like, my emergency pack, but this really, um, I figured it just didn't really make much sense to carry much more than a lighter in my EC organizer. So, and lastly, pen and pencil. And that's it.
We got through it all in just under 10 minutes. Amazing. And for the heck of it, I'll probably just like edit this and fast forward through it, but I will pack everything back up for you so you see that um, it is possible to do. And it wasn't like a magic trick. Okay, here we go. And that's it. Did it. And, um, well, I hope that helped you guys. I mean, I really just, you know, wanted to put the video out there to share some of the ideas. And, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, you can take some to use for yourself and uh, criticize some of the stuff I, I do in the comments. That's always good. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> otherwise, a positive rating would be appreciated, but, you know, it's, that's uh, your choice. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, though, really, and uh, thanks for watching. So, I'll see you.